just listening to Terry there and um, his anointed word, and he was speaking of movement. And we move towards Jesus, he moves towards us. And at the cross, many were teasing him and taunting him. He said, he said come down at the cross and we will believe. But for Jesus, it's believe and great things will happen. Believe and great things will happen. So come towards Jesus and you're gonna to come towards Jesus today. You make that move and Jesus makes a move too. And just, on, just today, the gospel for today was of a person called Zacchaeus and everybody has heard that gospel before. But every time I see that gospel, I meditate on that gospel, there are different things I see, just like in any other gospel passage, but I, was, I saw something different here today. And I'll just read the first part of it. It's chapter 19 of Luke's gospel. He entered Jericho and was going through the town when a man whose name was Zacchaeus made his appearance. He was one of the senior tax collectors and a wealthy man. He was anxious to see Jesus. He was anxious to see Jesus. Curiosity, yes, but Jesus works through curiosity too. Actually, curiosity is the first stage of conversion. He was anxious to see Jesus, to see what kind of man Jesus was, but he was too short and he could not see him for the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus, who was to pass that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and spoke to him, Zacchaeus, come down, hurry, because I must stay at your house today. And he hurried down and welcomed him joyfully. They all complained when they saw what was happening. He has gone to stay at a sinner's house, they said. But Zacchaeus stood his ground. Love that. Zacchaeus stood his ground and said to the Lord, look, sir, I'm going to give half my property to the poor and if I have cheated anybody, I will pay him back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is the son of Abraham. But the son of man has come to seek out and save what was lost. What was lost? Zacchaeus was lost. He was lost in his pride and his wealth. He was lost, but in experiencing Jesus, he experienced that he was lost. There's many people today don't even know that they're lost, that they haven't even switched on that button yet. But Zacchaeus, through his curiosity, went to Jesus. He made the move, brothers and sisters. He made the move. And Terry was talking earlier about blockages. And it says in the gospel today, it says, he went to see what kind of man Jesus was but he was too short and he could not see him for the crowd. The crowd were blocking him. The crowd, the crowd were blocking him. And made me think of the blockages. What's blocking us, brothers and sisters? What's blocking us from seeing Jesus and experiencing Jesus? Is it fear? Is it unforgiveness? Is it anger? Is it pride? Is it stubbornness? Is it doubt? Whatever it may be. We bring it before the Lord today. There are parents who block their children from experiencing Jesus. They block the children's view of Jesus. They don't pray with them. They don't take them to Holy Mass, to the sacraments. They block the little ones from experiencing Jesus. There are Catholic priests, there are Catholic teachers who have blocked the path of people towards Jesus through scandalous behavior and not teaching the Catholic teaching, the teaching based on scripture in the schools. I'll do it my own way. I'll do my own version of Jesus to soften it, to sweeten it. But to follow Jesus, brothers and sisters, it takes courage and strength. It's about warriors. It's about warriors. It's a battle. I was talking about a battle the, the other night. But it is a battle. But the battle that Jesus has won through the cross. So join Jesus brothers and sisters, in this wonderful, wonderful battle for souls. So today we're going to pray just before um, we're, we pray for healing and the anointing takes place 
we're going to pray for deliverance. And as Terry said earlier, he talked about the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil. So let's get one thing straight. And I know we're um, approaching Halloween. Halloween, we seem to celebrate Halloween more so than the hallowed ones, which is the next day, the saints. The hollow, that's what we call Halloween. It's like the eve of the hollow ones, the saints. That's the day we should celebrate, and yet so few come to celebrate the saints, the communion of saints in heaven. And we're, we're not alone today, brothers and sisters, because the angels and saints who are with us today, and you may have a particular devotion to a, to a saint, call that saint down. St. Bridget, come on down here. And St. Trace, St. Patrick, St. Anthony, St. Padre Pio, St. Pio, whatever saint you have in your heart, invite that saint with you today. So, brothers and sisters, we have the power. We have been given power. Again, the devil stops us from recognizing that power. He said, you have power? Are you kidding? You have no power. We have power, brothers and sisters. Through our baptism, we were given power. Power over the evil one. And Jesus said, all power, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore make disciples. In other words, use that power, use that authority I have given you over unclean spirits. So any temptation, brothers and sisters, sisters come, come your way. You just need to say, but recognize the temptation and say, in the name of Jesus, I tell the spirit of greed to leave me or the spirit of anger to leave me, or the spirit of doubt to leave me, whatever it may be, use that power you have been given. The evil one does not want us to use power. He does not want us to use any, any authority, any power. But we use it because Jesus has given it to us. Amen? Amen. Okay. So let's pray, brothers and sisters. And as Terry mentioned earlier about um, unforgiveness, he talked about unforgiveness. And that is one of the great blockages, unforgiveness. There's people in this, this church at this moment who are carrying a lot of unforgiveness. And, you know, there's some people here who have been hurt dreadfully, be it physically, sexually, emotionally, right back from right when you were a little child. And you still carry that. You still carry that anger, that pain, that unforgiveness. By carrying unforgiveness, brothers and sisters, you're given the other power over you. So the uncon your unforgiveness controls your past, your present, but we don't want it to control your future. Today it stops. Today it stops. Don't let anyone, anyone take control over you. The only one we surrender to is Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is in control. Lord, take control control of our lives. So I invite you brothers and sisters to use that authority with me and we're going to use this as we pray through different impediments or negativities, our spirits. Psychologists call it different things. We call it spirits. We call it spirits. It's different spirits have tried to block the light of the Holy Spirit in us. We're going to rid ourselves of that now through the power of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. So say with me, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, renounce I renounce the spirit of unforgiveness. Spirit of unforgiveness. I command it to leave me right now, to, right now. to go to the foot of the cross, to to the cross. Where, it where it belongs. It does not belong to me. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not the spirit of anger. I will not the spirit of resentment. I will not the spirit of bitterness and pride. In the name of Jesus. I will not the terrible twins. What are they? What are they? Shame and guilt. I command these spirits, get out of my soul, go to the foot of the cross, where you belong. You do not belong to me, I belong to Jesus, I am his disciple, 
I give my life to him. In the name of Jesus. I will not the spirit of timidity and shyness. I will not the spirit of self pity. I will not the spirit of inadequacy and emptiness and nothingness and loneliness and abandonment. Get out of me. In Jesus' name. By his authority. Given to me at my baptism. I command you to leave me. In Jesus' name. I command the spirit of rejection. I command the spirit of feeling unwanted. I command the spirit of anxiety and stress. And depression. Get out of me. In Jesus' name. I command the spirit of suicidal thoughts. Go. In the name of Jesus, I embrace my life. I give my life to Jesus. I want to live for Jesus from this day forward. I will live for Jesus. I give my life to him. In the name of Jesus, I will not the spirit of guilt, of unworthiness, embarrassment, worthlessness, Get out of me, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I will announce the spirit of self-accusation. The spirit of self-condemnation. The spirit of self-loathing and hatred and rejection. Get out of me, right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not the spirit of low self-esteem. I embrace confidence today. Give me a new heart, a new spirit today. In the name of Jesus, I will not the spirit of fear. Oh, fear, you've been with me for far too long. Get out of me right now. I belong to the one who said, do not be afraid. I am with you always. Jesus is with us always. In the name of Jesus. I will not the spirits behind cancer and migraines. I will not the spirit. I will not the spirit of any physical ailment within me. In the name of Jesus, I tell all of these spirits to leave me in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I will announce the spirit of jealousy and envy. In the name of Jesus, I will announce the spirit of hopelessness and despair and grief and sadness and powerlessness. Get out of me. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I will not the spirit of gossiping and spreading scandal. I will not the spirit of addictive behavior. Nicotine, alcohol, pornography, gambling. I tell all of these spirits to leave this place. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I will announce the spirit of doubt and unbelief. I command you to leave. In Jesus' name. I command all of these spirits that we have mentioned to get out. Out of this church. Right now. You are not welcome here. We are disciples of Jesus Christ. There is no room for you here. By the power, I'll pray now, brothers and sisters, by the power of holy orders, by the power of priesthood, I command any spirits that have not been mentioned, any spirits that are still trying to cling behind the soul, like leeches, behind the souls of people here, 
that are still trying to suck the life out of anyone here. I command these spirits to leave this person right now in Jesus' name and go to the foot of the cross where you belong. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray a special prayer of, of blessing upon you, the Father's blessing upon you. Heavenly Father, we ask you to, to bless everyone here today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the healing that will take place in this church today, be it physical, emotional, spiritual. We give our lives to you, not just today because we're here today, but also tomorrow when we meet the crowd outside, that we will be your warriors, that we will be your intentional disciples, missionary disciples, wherever we go, and we will give praise to your name and serve you. Because, brothers and sisters, this world, this life, is so, so short, so short. Just today, a good friend died, and this morning, and only 49. But what is 49 years old in comparison to eternity, Amen. eternal life, eternal life? You, so think of the bigger picture, brothers and sisters. Think of the bigger picture. Give our lives to Jesus now, and we will swiftly move into the light of his presence. And we thank you for the communion of saints, all the saints who are present with us. We thank you and praise you for your presence with us. And we thank our Blessed Mother especially. Blessed Mother, be present to everyone here. And we pray that you will just take your mantle. And we ask you to stretch out your mantle upon all the brothers and sisters who are gathered here today physically and those watching from their home. So Heavenly Father, bless us and help us to experience your blessing warming our souls now, warming our souls. And let the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, move within your souls. Having renounced all of these impediments, just feel the movement of the Spirit moving more freely through your soul, washing away all of them dead impediments that once inflicted you.